cloth diapering daddy version point one point oh. Okay. Go. First question. So actually some of these questions were given to me on Facebook and then some are taken from the cloth diapering dad tag. We're just gonna blend them together. First one is whose idea was it to cloth diaper? Originally it was your idea because you were the most educated, but then once you educated me on the joys of cloth diapering, we both were all for it. What was your first impression of the idea of cloth diapering? It saves money, so that's good. And that was pretty much, before I was even educated on anything, that's what I liked about it. Were you concerned with anything before we started cloth diapering? I was concerned with many things before cloth diapering, but not cloth diapering itself. Oh, really? You weren't, you weren't nervous about that? I wasn't nervous about cloth diapering. I just, I don't know. Hmm. All right. Did you have any support about being a cloth diapering dad? One of my good friends did cloth diapers, so he gave me some tips or ins and outs to kind of like let me know what to expect. So. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty cool. We yeah. didn't know that until we d were looking into it and we found out he had with his two kids. Do you know what a prefold is? <laughs> Do you know what a pocket diaper is? Do you know what an AIO is? <laughs> Do you know what a one size or a size? Yes. One, uh, the adjustable kind or the one size. The adjustable kind have the little um, <laughs> elastic strappy things that you adjust as the baby grows and one size is just going to last you like for a certain amount of time, like a small, medium, or large. Okay. A size diaper is the one that is small, medium, or large. The one sizes are the ones that last you through toddlerhood. And the, adjust oh, yeah, yeah. the adjustable straps that you're talking about around the legs, that's just one brand. Okay. <laughs> what was your first impression after changing your first cloth diaper? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think people make too big of a deal about it's for granola fruity people and there's just constant poop you have to deal with. And in terms of all that, it wasn't really too much more work than just a disposable diaper, if you know what you're going into. Poo explosions. Do you clean them up or leave them to Marie? We both clean them up. We try to pass them off on each other. <laughs> <laughs> You'll say it's my turn if you've just done a big one and we try to, <laughs> we do try to time it so like, oh, I just changed the last diaper so it's your turn and we'll try to time it so. Time the poops. Time the poops. <laughs> so that we avoid them. the poops. But he does change them and spray yeah. them off. When changing a cloth diaper, what do you and Marie do differently? I don't know if we really do anything differently. We kind of both have the same techniques. I, I just try to get it done fast. Yeah, I know one thing we do differently. What's that? I match her diapers to her outfits. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you go for that route, do you? I usually grab the diaper that I like, that is easiest to manage and put that on her. I don't care about color coordination or anything like that. Yeah. Do you have any tips on how to convince a fresh dad to switch? This person says their husband doesn't think the savings outweigh the extra work that you have to put in. There is, um, once you know what you're doing, there's actually no extra work, I'd argue. It's like time-wise, you're pretty much going to do the same amount of work in the same amount of time. I mean, changing it and spraying it off and putting it in a diaper bin is like five more seconds of work than it would be just to take a disposable and throw it in the garbage bin. Yeah, as long as you have a wife or a partner that's going to help you do the washing and the stuffing, because that is the only real extra work, but you don't have to buy them at the grocery store, so there's one extra step that you have to do for disposables. Do you do diaper laundry, or do you leave that to Marie? I pretty much leave that to Marie, but I've, you've given me a knowledge of how to do it if I had to. Marie always tries to tell me these things like if I die you need to know how to do this. Yep, I give them um, things how to take care of the baby in my will and cloth diapering and cloth diaper laundry is part of my if I die lesson plan. Dad tips on cloth diapering, do you have any? Dad tips, it's good to get those little um, liner things to put in the cloth diapers. Basically it looks like a roll of toilet paper but it's a little bit sturdier than that but it's um, makes it a lot easier. They're really cheap and inexpensive. You just put it in there and it makes it a lot easier if there's a big, you know, poop in there. So you can just take that out and throw that away and there's less to spray with. Which leads to tip number two, you gotta have a sprayer attached to your toilet. 
It's cool. It's a little thing you get to, um, we have the bum genie, is that it? Bum <laughs> That's genies. what you call it, but I let you call it that because I think genie. it's cute that you think it's a bum genie. <laughs> Anyways, you, it's really easy to attach. It's just basically like, think of in your sink how you have the spray for your dishes. It's the same type of deal. And it sprays it off and makes the whole process really simple and fast and efficient. Yeah, Ryan liked installing it and now he has like man ownership of the diaper sprayer. <laughs> if I did die, do you think he could continue to cloth diaper without me? Yep. Well, I don't know. She'd run around naked a lot more. And just, <laughs> just put a plastic sheet on the floor and just let her run around. <laughs> no, Honest I know. You're not supposed to. You just can't have the dryer on hot because it'll melt the things. And you got to use special kinds of soap. Otherwise, it's going to cause irritants on your baby's bits and stuff. Okay. Do you know where to buy cloth diapers if I were gone and you needed more? We've got all we need for the rest of our lives. <laughs> These are just questions I'm thinking of right now. And you said that the liners are inexpensive, but I'm the one who buys those. Do you know how much those cost? Yeah, you buy them off of Amazon, I think. Yeah. And they're like 10 to $15. I think, I think there. it's like 7 bucks a roll. Yeah, yeah, 7 bucks, And it lasts you like a month or something. Yeah, I think it lasts like six months. I've okay. only bought two of them since Scarlet okay, was born. Well, there you go. Yeah. We do need to tag team it. I think definitely having both of us in makes the job simple. Because obviously he knows things and I know things. We put the things together and our baby's cloth diapered. What do you do when there's a really bad poopy cloth diaper? You have to call for backup. <laughs> Sometimes it's a two-parent situation. And those are the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan calls it, for me. He goes, five alarm, yeah. five stars, get in here, and it's then I not, run the other way. It's not necessarily specific to cloth diapers, though. It can happen with disposables, too. All parents know they have their times where it's just really bad. Poop is gross. And you just, poop's gross, but you just gotta get it done, clean up what you clean up, throw the kid in the bath. How do you divide up the cloth diapering duties? Who does what? Marie mostly does all of the washing and drying and folding of the diapers. I just help with the changing mainly. Yeah, he does yeah. the gross changes, a lot of them. He will step up and do a lot of the poops and he sprays them down and he sometimes helps put them away in her changing area, but I do all the washing parts. Who changes more diapers in your household? Marie changes more diapers just because that's because I'm home. Ops wants yeah. to know, yeah. do you spray off the cloth diapers? How do I convince my wife that I never need to spray another cloth diaper in my lifetime? <laughs> you just gotta man up and do it. It's not that big a deal. I mean, it's poop. You're dealing with poop anyways if you're changing a diaper, whether it's cloth or non-cloth or disposable or whatever. Just do it. Just get it done. Clean it up. <laughs> if it's too much, throw it away. <laughs> What's your favorite cloth diaper? I like the fuzzy buns fitted kind. Is that what they are, right? Yeah. This because they're just one size. They don't have a lot of snaps on them. I like these one color too because it's easy to see and it's just easy and quick to snap them. Boom, you're done. Okay, so what's your least favorite? I don't like every other kind. <laughs> no, whatever this kind is. No, it's not the kind, hun. He doesn't like the one sizes that have a lot of snaps down the front. Show the show the part you don't like. Well, this because there's so many snaps, it's overkill. Okay. And then I'll plus, get close so you can see. Plus, there's multiple snaps for like as the baby grows, and that makes sense because I mean you got to keep this diaper for longer. But it's he gets just, he gets nervous so when much. he sees all of these it's options. Not, it's not nervousness. It's just too I much. Have to deal with it. Yeah. So I always set the sizing on them, and then he does whichever one's just fine. But sometimes, you know, the one sizes sometimes pop apart when you're putting them on, and that just, you know, it's one more step. So he's a guy, he goes for simplicity. Of course he picked up the orange diaper, which is my least favorite, but that's his first favorite, so that's the way well, it is. all you mothers and fathers out there considering it, you really should go for it, because it's not as hard as you think. And if once you get educated, it's actually just as easy as disposable diapers, and just takes just as much time and effort and if you're scared of the poo just man up and just do it and you're gonna have to deal with poo anyways using disposable diapers and it's not that bad and it saves you money and that's the biggest winner for me okay so the general moral of the story that we're getting from ryan is man up you're dealing with poop have fun bye, bye.